It, it was a scary deal because uh, all of a sudden everything flashes before my eyes. What's going to happen? Am I going to see any of my friends or my family anymore? Um, how serious is this? What do we do about it? I, I just, yeah, I had all sorts of questions. Bruce Gowan is a loving family man who enjoys the simple pleasures living in Wheatland, Alberta. He worked for years as a welder until he experienced recent health complications. Bruce was diagnosed several years ago with advanced renal cell carcinoma. Renal cell carcinoma is a cancer that arises from the kidney. It can be localized disease where it's just in the kidney and we take it out with surgery, or it can be metastatic or advanced disease where it's spread to the liver, bones, or lung, or somewhere else uh, where we have to treat it with different drug treatments. Dr. Daniel Heng is a medical oncologist with the Tom Baker Cancer Center in Calgary, Alberta. He received a Master's of Public Health from Harvard University. He is the chair of the Geniturinary Tumor Group in Calgary. Dr. Heng has a keen interest in outcomes, prognostic factors, and clinical trials research in metastatic renal cell carcinoma. Bruce Gowan is one of his patients. The most common symptoms are pain in the kidney area, bleeding in the urine, or a mass that they can feel. Also, it could just be incidentally detected on CT scans. I was out with some friends uh, fishing in radium, and uh, we had a nice day rooting around. When I got home that night, uh, I noticed that I had some blood in my urine, and I asked one of my friends to take me to get checked. I was not feeling very good. Through all their tests and whatnot, they let us know that I had uh, a cancerous growth on my kidney, on my right kidney. And uh, we were kind of shocked. Bruce was originally diagnosed with localized renal cell carcinoma. A localized cancer is one that has not spread from the site of origin to the lymph nodes or distant organs. When Bruce was first diagnosed, it was, it was very scary. Um, and it happened so quick. Um, they told him they thought he had a kidney infection. So that's what I took him into the hospital for. And uh, he never left the hospital. They were actually going to remove his kidney the very next day. So it was very scary. It was, they did try and reassure us that once they removed the kidney, everything would be fine, which didn't happen. Initially, the idea was to remove the kidney and, and that would, uh, or the lump, the lump and then the kidney. And uh, unfortunately, after the uh, six month checkup, it was found that the cancer was still there and it had uh, caused some more damage. When renal cell carcinoma, also known as kidney cancer, spreads from its site of origin to distant sites in the body, it is categorized as advanced or metastatic, which is presently incurable. This changes the goal of treatment. The goal of treatment for advanced renal cell carcinoma is usually to extend a patient's survival as long as possible, to shrink down tumors, and to make patients feel better and have a better quality of life. A patient's journey with advanced renal cell carcinoma usually starts off with a series of drugs uh, used in sequence. So patients would start on a drug and as, if it's working, uh, we keep using it, and if it stops working, we move on to another drug. Bruce was told that his cancer continued to grow despite treatment. Fortunately, there are additional treatment options available for advanced renal cell carcinoma, which did not exist previously. Take the kidney out and it's all gone, you live happily ever after to, yeah, this didn't work so well. And it was, it was very disappointing, of course. Nothing anybody can do about it, but we move on from there. What's next? The good thing is there are different types of drugs to choose from, some with better quality of life than others, some with different side effect profiles than others, and it's important to have that choice and discuss that with your oncologist when you see them. Immuno-oncology treatment, commonly known as immunotherapy, activates the body's own immune system to attack and kill tumors. This concept, for the most part, 10 years ago, had almost died. The past several years have witnessed a resurgence of interest in cancer immunotherapy. Bruce was offered the option of an immuno-oncology as a next treatment. Doctor said it wasn't working anymore, so we uh, decided we were going to try something else. That something else was uh, the nivolumab. 
and uh, things have been great ever since. The concept of immunotherapy, which harnesses the body's own immune system to fight the tumor, versus one that is cytotoxic, toxic to cells, is one that resonates with both patients and physicians alike. Immunotherapy for treatment of cancers has been around for a very long time. We actually used to use immunotherapy a lot to treat advanced kidney cancers until the targeted therapy era came, where we used pills to treat the kidney cancer instead. But now there's been a re-emergence of immuno-oncology agents, next generation checkpoint inhibitors uh, that actually rev up a patient's immune system so that they'll, the immune system attacks their own tumor. And they've been able to extend survival, improve quality of life, and really revolutionize how we treat kidney cancer today. Treatment options may cause certain side effects that vary depending on the specific type of treatment. Patients should always talk to their doctor about the best treatment for them. Yeah, I just, I feel good every day. I, I don't have to worry about being, feeling sick, feeling nauseous. I get up in the morning, I, I live my life to the fullest. I think that for a patient who's diagnosed with advanced kidney cancer today, they should know that treatments today versus five or 10 years ago is very different. The newer drugs we have now are much more active. There's a wide variety of drugs to choose from now, and um, our outcomes are a lot better than they used to be. I don't work. We spend our time uh, working on our little acreage here. This is our little paradise, and we just spend our time taking care of it. Uh, keep up the yard, cut the grass enjoy the, the serenity. So I think it's a really exciting time in kidney cancer because there's so much new stuff coming out. The Tom Baker Cancer Centre is an academic cancer centre that has access to a wealth of clinical trials for patients to participate in. Also, it houses one of the world's largest databases of patients with advanced kidney cancer so that we can study patients that did well and patients that didn't do well and see how we can replicate uh, the things that we did well in that patient for patients in the future. I think it's really important for patients to always have hope and I never try to take away that hope. There are always new therapies coming up on the horizon with all of the research that we do. There are new drugs that continuously push uh, a patient's overall survival and quality of life and and I think that's something really exciting to hope for. He looks good, he feels good. I'm optimistic. At the moment, I'm enjoying life to the fullest. Life is okay, <laughs> as it is now. To learn more about recent treatment options, as well as ongoing research within advanced renal cell carcinoma, speak with your medical oncology team and or visit the website below.